Discover a simple, efficient and robust process for taste masking with Presserol Atto 5 from Gatfosse. Presserol Atto 5, glycerol disterate, is the ideal excipient for taste masking by melt coating. The low melting point enables low process temperatures, ideal for sensitive actives. Rapid recrystallization on cooling facilitates quick solidification of the film around the drug particles, preventing caking. Presserol Atto 5 is available in powder form. It is inert and has a neutral taste. It can be used on its own or with flavours. It complies to the European Pharmacopoeia and USP national formulary and is generally recognised as safe. It has oral references in the United States FDA Inactive Ingredient Database and precedence of use in paediatric medicines. Fluid bed coating consists of covering individual drug particles with a fully molten lipid excipient, which spreads across the particle surface. Upon cooling, the excipient recrystallizes, forming a continuous and homogeneous film, which provides a barrier to the bad taste of the drug. Fluid bed coating has been used for taste masking for decades, and although it is highly efficient, its industrial use has been limited because it is a complex process with many parameters to control. It also requires the adaptation of the industrial equipment to insulate the pipes and the nozzle to prevent the molten lipid crystallizing too quickly during the process. High shear coating is an alternative which involves the coating of individual drug particles with a partially molten lipid excipient, which spreads across the particle surface and on cooling, recrystallizes to form a continuous and homogeneous film. High shear coating is a much simpler process. The key process parameters to control are the impeller speed and coating time. No modification of standard equipment is necessary and no external heating is required. In this guide, we will show just how simple, efficient and robust this process is. The high shear process is simple due to the equipment. A standard high shear mixer is used. The formulation can be a simple binary mixture of drug and excipient, and there are only two key operating parameters to control. These are images of potassium chloride, KCl, particles coated with Presserol Atto 5. Potassium chloride has a strong, bitter and salty taste. It is therefore a good model for taste masking studies. In the high shear process, the drug particles and Presserol Atto 5 powder are placed in the high shear mixer, 80% API and 20% Presserol Atto 5. During mixing, the friction generated produces sufficient heat to partially melt the excipient and cover the drug particles. When mixing is slowed down, friction is reduced and the temperature decreases. The lipid recrystallizes over the surface of the drug particles, forming a solid, continuous film. The high shear process can be described in four steps. In the first step, 80% API and 20% Presserol Atto 5 are mixed at low impeller speed, 50 RPM for three minutes. The temperature of the materials in the mixing bowl is ambient. In step two, impeller speed is increased to 900 RPM, generating friction and heat. When the process temperature reaches 42 to 45 degrees C, impeller speed is reduced and chopper is started. The inertia within the system causes the temperature to continue to rise a few degrees. In step three, once the process temperature reaches 48 degrees C, effective coating with a partially molten lipid begins. Coating takes three minutes. In step four, the process is cooled down by simply reducing the impeller speed to 50 RPM to reduce friction and chopper speed to 100 RPM to prevent pack formation. Consequently, the temperature decreases, leading to the recrystallization of the lipid on the surface of the drug particle. At 35 degrees C, Presserol Atto 5 is fully recrystallized in a solid and homogeneous film. Coated particles can be removed for further characterization and processing into finished dosage forms. The efficiency of the high shear coating process can be demonstrated by three controls. Uniformity of the film coating around drug particles, drug release below a specified threshold, which correlates with a taste detection limit, and a human taste panel assessment. 
These are scanning electron microscopy images of potassium chloride particles before and after coating. Before coating, the particles exhibit cubic structures with sharp edges. After coating, particles have rounded edges due to the thin and uniform lipid coating. A dissolution test can indicate whether drug particles are effectively coated. The red dotted line corresponds to the taste perception limit. Detection of drug above the limit would indicate that the bad taste of the drug is not effectively masked. So drug release below the threshold of 2.2 mg per mil, the red dotted line, indicates adequate taste masking. Drug release is assessed for five minutes. This assay shows that both high shear coating, the purple line, and fluid bed coating, the green dashed line, are efficient taste masking processes since drug release is well below the taste detection threshold. A human taste panel evaluated uncoated and coated potassium chloride particles. This blue line shows the taste assessment of uncoated potassium chloride. The initial impact on the tongue is very strong and it is salty and not pleasant. High shear coating, the purple line, dramatically reduced this initial unpleasant impact and the salty taste and generally had a positive impact on mouthfeel and aftertaste. Fluid bed coating, indicated by the green line, was as effective as the high shear method but it is a much more complicated process. The human taste panel results corroborate with the dissolution test. The robustness of the high shear process is demonstrated by three evaluations, the ease of scale up, the reproducibility of results and the applicability for drugs with very different characteristics. Process scale up was evaluated using one litre and six litre bowls. Calculation of process parameters is straightforward using equations provided by the equipment supplier. Impeller speed is adapted for scale up from a one liter to a six liter bowl, but chopper speed and coating time remain the same. Dissolution profile and human taste assessment gave similar results for both bowl capacities, indicating that the scaling up of this process is straightforward. Process reproducibility was assessed using ranitazine hydrochloride as a model drug. In three repetitive trials, the time required to reach 42 degrees is constant. Product temperature at the end of the coating time is reproducible. Energy consumption is equivalent and yield is similar in each run. And particle size distribution is identical in the three runs. These results indicate a reproducible process. To illustrate the versatility of the high shear coating process, a number of API have been tested with different crystalline shape, cubic and needle, different melting points, mean diameter ranging from 100 to 400 micron, and difficult, different particle size distribution, modal and bimodal. Despite these differences, all drug particles were successfully coated using press oil at 05 and the straightforward high shear method. In conclusion, high shear coating with press oil at 05 is simple, using standard equipment, no external heat source and a simple binary formulation. It is efficient, enabling high drug loading, for example 80% drug, 20% press oil at 05. Dissolution tests indicate good taste masking, which is proven with a human taste assessment. The process is robust with straightforward scale up, reproducible results and suitable for a wide range of API. For more information, please visit www.getforce.com to learn more about Presserol Atto 5 and the high shear process and access our posters and scientific publications and contact your local Gatforce representative. <laughs>